a fight for the right to be number one. It's the coach. This is the 2020 season on EA Sports. Straight ahead, it's a battle of the top two teams in the AFC West, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. With that, let's get out to Southern California with the call from Los Angeles. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, under hazy, overcast L.A. skies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Today, it's a matchup in the AFC West between the Kansas City Chiefs and our home team. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback out of North Carolina State. It's Phillip Rivers. In some ways, he reminds me of a past NFL great who played the quarterback position as well. John with the opposition, trash talking a little bit, doesn't mind getting hit and battered around some that kind of gets him into the game. But once it's time to lock in, Phillip Rivers does that as well as any quarterback in the league. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. I don't think it's hyperbole to say that Mike Pouncey is one of the best centers in the league. And to me, he helped usher in that new wave of centers. Agile, able to get to the second level and block people downfield, able to pull like a guard and get out in front of ball carriers, and pass protects really well, helps keep his quarterbacks clean. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Throwing Rivers. The open man is Smith. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Me and you all day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Now Gordon on first down. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of two there. Second down. Here's the first carry for Northwestern's Justin Jackson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. From the gun, Rivers. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. The Charger first down, Rivers hooking up with Allen. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Now Rivers got Gordon open, completes it. 
It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it will be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Rivers on first down, looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And they'll get this down to the 10. Go, now, after Bring the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. Mike, 390, 380. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Check. First down, Rivers. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of 5. And the ball smacked down on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the 5 down to the 3. Trying to finish off this opening drive from the 3. This is third and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. Okay, so you just took the big loss. Now what are you doing on fourth down? Well, we have a change of plans now is what we have because... I think they were looking at the play sheet, trying to dial something up to go for it on fourth down. But after that loss, that goes right out the window. Now you have to kick the field goal and hope to come back down the next time and score. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on me, I was. Partner. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. And now the Chiefs offensive starters. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. Roughing the passer, defense. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here are the starters defensively for the Chargers. They were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. If I'm playing quarterback against this team, after what I saw on film where they had five picks last week, all I'm thinking about is taking care of the football, being very careful with it, and making sure I see my guys open before I throw it. I might curl up in the fetal position. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I don't idea think he's going to do that, though. <laughs> First carry for the ex-Utah State Aggie, Darwin Thompson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Go, 
The Charger drive about to get going. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Rivers, it's caught, Smith. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Rivers, Allen's got it complete. A quick check on the numbers for Keenan Allen from last week. Six catches, 100 yards on the nose, and a score. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. Throwing Rivers. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. Rivers from the gun on third down. That's complete. It's Gordon. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Mahomes now to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Had a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. On third down, it's Thompson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. And that'll set him back five. They'll run it now out of the gun. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. From the 38, Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. The numbers for Travis Kelsey last week. Eight catches, 112 yards. And he's trying to prove the adage is not just how you start, it's how you finish, and he is finishing. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And picked up by the Chargers. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the 
final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. It's Williams on the catch. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Looking at this situation, if you're at the one, the two, maybe you go for it. From here, you kick it. I agree. I think you have to get points in this situation. Fourth down, I don't chance it at all. I put the points on the board and go back and regroup. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run the counter. It's Moss. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On second down, it's Thompson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Chief linemen might have moved. Maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot, and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he felt he was one of the key pieces in that play and wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and it'll make it second down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And this is caught by Watkins. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. No, oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman, his third touchdown now on the year, as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And he's got it up and through. 
So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Rivers now, and this one complete to Smith. A gain of six there on first. That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. Big hit. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And not much running room. Down to the 32. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. On second and seven, Rivers throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Third and long for Rivers. And that will be incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 13. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Trying to go back to Watkins, and that'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Yellow, yellow. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. On first down, no, no, no. Moss. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Yeah, Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. They run the counter. It's Moss, and he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know they're securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You don't see this often, a quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. 
you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's a bootleg with Rivers. He completes it to Henry. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call to throw Rivers open man it's Allen and he gets this inside the 35 yard line that one good for 13 and a charger first Rivers on first down gets it to Gordon he's got a first down and much more inside the 20 and he's going to get it down to the 14 yard line 19 yards there on the catch and run we always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even... And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead... It's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown Marty there. Are looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now Mahomes. It's Hill complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. You look at the numbers for him, and 1,000 yards, obviously, well within his sights, barring injury. He will get there. The question, will he get there in this game? Well, he would love to. Duh, right? Of course he would. <laughs> but, you know, watching him play this year, we often talk about defenses, you know, allocating extra resources to try and stop a guy of, of his ilk, right? But you know what else kicks in? His pride to say, okay, I don't care how many you throw in my direction, I'm still going to find a way to get open. I will use different moves. I will move against formation. I will come underneath routes and try and run through some people and kind of get natural picks in order to work his way open. He wants to get that 1,000, and he doesn't want any less passes to come to his direction. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it's the veteran Philip Rivers who's up to his old tricks. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. The tight end Kelsey was the intended target. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Now Gordon. Yeah, he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. 
So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. That's on the veteran tackle, Mitchell Schwartz. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Mahomes going to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Boy, Keenan Allen couldn't pull that one in. They go play action here on first down. And that's caught inside the 35. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 25-yard line. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the red zone now, Rivers complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 11 more on that one and another first down. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Again, Gordon on second and goal. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run coming from Melvin Gordon. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, on, and they'll start at the 25. 
Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, some, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They'll keep it on the ground. Moss, four yards the pickup, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second down now, it's Moss. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. They'll run on first down. Thompson, and he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. They go with Thompson again. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. That's Laurent Duvernay-Tardif. Actually, correction, Dr. Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, MD guilty there. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. Mahomes now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and ten. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. And able to work his way down to the 16. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. I get the thought process, third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way, but that means... You're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend. Don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Melvin Gordon and the Chargers ready for their next possession. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence if you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases, you know? Find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Rivers out quickly here to Allen. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go, Tyne, let's go, right here. Let's go. At the 
On second and very short, Rivers for Keenan Allen. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Throwing again on second and 10. Rivers. It's Williams on the catch. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20, 10, and he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. This one taken from the seven. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A 50 50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Back now at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Line of scrimmage is the eight on second and eight. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. They get that one on the left tackle, Russell Okun. Back near his goal line, Rivers. Got his man, it's Williams. And they work this out past the 25. 23 yards the pick up there. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Williams. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down and four, Rivers. He dumps this one off to Jackson, the running back. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the 45 on second down, Rivers had his hands on it but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run on first down with Jackson. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Jackson, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drives seven plays in length. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So the Chiefs offense heads out. There's a look at the playoff picture in the AFC as we take a look at the playoff picture and certainly a lot of jostling still to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team far from locked up, but that's why this is exciting. These last few weeks, a lot to play for. Yeah, exciting for us because we get to talk about it and, you know, at the end of the day, 
Six teams are going to go from each conference, and guess what? We're going to have a playoff. But nerve-wracking for all the people involved, all the teams, because their goal is to get there. And anything less than that makes the season a disappointment. So this is they've got to be primed now for a big finish to their season. Mahomes now to throw. His throw incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 11. Back to throw. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Jerry Tillery in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Now Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Byron Pringle, his third touchdown now on the year. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Fairbear now to add the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They're able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And Allen's got it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. On first down, it's Jackson. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. That QB's trash. Second and five now. Rivers. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. On the run, this is Jackson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Yeah. 
They'll get three out of the dump off there, and that'll lead to a third down. The Chargers on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This time they face a third and two. On third down, this is Jackson. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the long. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. He's got Thompson here, complete. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Mahomes to throw to Thompson on the screen. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. A good pickup of six there on first down. Mahomes used to moving quickly in college, trying to get his guys to the line. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So they were in field goal range, a chance to get this one to OT. Got a little greedy going for the win, cost him the game. Not just a little greedy, now a little lost because of what ended up happening. Just what you stated there, they're in field goal range. Instead of getting conservative, they decided to press it, maybe try and win it right now. Instead, the whole thing backfired. Badgley on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in at the one. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Mahomes going to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. To throw is Mahomes. He's got it complete to Thompson. 
call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Back to throw, Mahomes. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now here's Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. A kneel down here from Rivers, and that should be it. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the home team here, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12-2 and two on the year. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.